I definitely wanted to be a professional football player. Bart Starr was my hero. That really dates me, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bart Starr was the most important Green Bay Packer in the 60s. He won the Super Bowls as they were invented. Number one on the list, of course, is extra virgin olive oil. You really got to use that in just about everything I like to cook with. My favorite thing to eat, of course, is anything anyone else makes. But that said, if I had to choose one dish that I could live with on the rest of my life, it would be spaghetti with aglio, olio e peperoncino, which is just garlic, hot chili flakes, and extra virgin olive oil. When you cook spaghetti perfectly, even dressed with cream of mushroom soup from a can, it's a remarkable thing because the mouthfeel is such a satisfying thing to an Italian that perfect spaghetti, even with the lightest amount of stuff on it, is exactly what I want. At home, I cook breakfast seven days a week, and I try to cook dinner two to three days a week. We have a uh, Mexican babysitter from Acapulco named Leonora, that we call Chef Leo, and she makes dinner three nights a week, and I'm always home for dinner when she makes dinner. People ask me about guilty pleasure, and I seem to have been able to kill my conscience when I was 14, so I experienced almost no guilt whatsoever. But I would say that if there was something I was a little worried about, it might be the fact that I really like gelato. But I don't feel guilty when I eat that. And I also really like this cheesy American processed snack food that I don't eat very often, but I like Doritos themselves. They have this one cool ranch with hot chilies on it that I really like, but I probably eat them twice a year. I'm a big fan of rock and roll. Uh, I remember when I was going to high school, the first time uh, that we went to see a concert in Madrid. We moved to Spain the week that Franco died. You know, it was a crazy time in Spain, and I remember Patti Smith came on stage, and she's always been one of my heroes, particularly from that moment on. And she came out and said, Franco is dead, and we have his boots, and launched into horses, and it was just like the whole audience understood everything she meant. It's goosebumps to this day. In my dream world, I will have four homes. As I'm about to move there, six to eight weeks before I get to my new home, my gardener will go and plant everything so that I can harvest things. But I imagine somewhere on the Ligurian and the Tuscan coast, uh, New York City, uh, Seattle or the Pacific Northwest, and somewhere on Lake Michigan. And in fact, I have places in all of those. <laughs> So I'm quite lucky, but I haven't yet figured out the gardener thing. I haven't got anyone to lead me in and get there, so all of a sudden I'm just, oh, the basil's ready, it's day one.